In this first part of a three-part tutorial here on Loops FX, I'm going to show you how to beat create a track in Rekordbox. So, stick along. Tjena players and welcome back to another episode of Loops FX. My name is Bergwall, or Biowell as we say in Sweden, and today I'm going to give you a real treat, something a couple of you viewers have requested. I'm going to do a three-part tutorial on how to beat grid like a pro in Rekordbox. This is part one, the basics. And when you're done, continue to part two, the unsteady beat, and part three, the tempo transition. Here in part one, the basics, I'm going to show you how to beat with a track like you never beat with it before. I'm going to walk through the preferences and the necessary buttons to align that beat grid to the tempo of the track. But before we start, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell as well if you want to be reminded every time we post a new video. And if you like this episode, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want me to wear a t-shirt with your company's name or product brand here in the upcoming episode of Loops FX, please send an email to hello at loopsfx.com. <laughs> now, let's do this. So in order to make the best beat grid, you have to switch to export mode because uh, in uh, performance mode, the waveform is so much smaller, so uh, you don't get an ac accurate result. And uh, let's look at the preferences before we start. You, you find the preferences here up in uh, the right corner, almost on the right corner, is a kind of a wheel, a cog, and then switch to analyze. Here's the track analyze area, and you have the ability to choose between normal and dynamic. Normally it's best for modern produced music with the, with the drum machine and dynamic if you have a human drummer like they had in the, in the 60s and the 70s and into the 80s and sometimes on live recordings as well. But I use normal on everything because if you have a disco track from the 70s you still have to beat grid the shit out of it so it doesn't matter for me. BPM range 70 to 180. It says that it works best if you have a track that's in that area. And in track analysis settings I have only chosen BPM and grid because I use mixed in key for the key analyze and I haven't started analyzing the phrases really yet. Auto analyze is enabled because every time I import a track or drag a track into Rekordbox it would analyze the track automatically with these settings. And if you want to have a memory queue on the first beat then you check that one and if you want to write the, the values on ID3 tag then check that as well. And performance mode for better results. So let's close that and uh, choose a track. There's no way looking at a track knowing if it's been analyzed or not. So if you're not auto analyzing tracks and you're unsure, then it's better to analyze it. And you can analyze it by right click, choose analyze track, and then you have these uh, settings again. And I always have only BPM grid, blah, blah, blah. Okay. And then you can see that it's been analyzing down here. So you can see. You don't see any progress, you only see a text that's saying analyze one track. Ba -ba -bam. So it's done. So let's start with my latest track together with the, the Italian DJ Nalle. It's called Party Up and it's a real banger. If you like it, please send an email to hello at loopsfx.com and I will send it to you right away. Here is how it works. You can see the, the waveform of the whole track up here and you have a zoomed in version of the waveform. You can zoom out and zoom in for a better view. Uh, if you don't have this palette, that might be hidden here. You can always zoom in and out with the, with the mouse wheel. And I think it works on every mouse. Let's switch to the grid area. You can see that um, the first grid marker is not quite on the beat. You have to move in the beat grid. And I just clicked it once. Uh, shift the whole bit with right and then you have uh, shift the whole bit with left so let's try and I have a short command though for this one for play and stop so I'm gonna use that here on and you can hear that it's quite on the beat and I always start at the first beat of course and then I jump to the end and if the beat is still steady then nothing wrong has happened during the track but uh, if the beat is off, then uh, something has happened and we have to correct that. But uh, uh, Rekordbox does a pretty good job analyzing tracks. It's correct. 
uh, trust your ears, not your eyes. And when it's done, just press the, the lock to lock the bit grid. Now the bit grid won't change. It will stay there. So let's see if we can find a track that um, needs a little more attention. We take Afro Brothers. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. Just by zooming in, you can see now that uh, the first beat grid is uh, to the right of the attack of the beat. So let's choose this one to move it. So it aligns with the right line. I always put the right line. You can see that it's in the middle. I always should put that one on the beat and then adjust the markers. So let's start. Totally different genre. So go to the end. Oh, it's there. It, the beat is there. Let's listen in the middle. Yeah, the beat is there. So lock it. It's done. Uh, let's take another one just for just to find um. A track that needs more attention. Take uh, Dada Life Higher Than The Sun. The, the first mark is good. Hours in the day. They have really lowered the tempo here. It has to be corrected. The sky is calling like it's feeding up my soul. We don't and we're here. Oh, uh, there's a little correction here. You can see that um, it's uh, correct here. We, don't know much. Uh, we uh, always look at the beat, bass drum, not the snare drum, because the snare drum could be off uh, to get a uh, better feeling. And the beat bass drum is correct. So at the end, oh, it's a little off there. Uh, it's a good practice. Uh, it's a little off, so we can um, use these buttons here: uh, expand beat intervals or shrink beat beat intervals. If the uh, beat marker is to the left of the attack of the beat, then we use the left button to expand it. It has to move towards the attack of the beat. If the beat marker would be on this side, then we have to shrink the beat intervals to meet the attack of the beat. So we just hit it once. I think that will do it. Yes. And don't forget to hit that button. That's an adjustment marker. Adjustment marker says to record box that here on out, I have changed the the beat. Everything that's um, to the left of the adjustment will stay the same as we have done before, but to the right uh, it might change. And then we choose an adjustment marker just to tell Rekordbox that the beat grid has been changed here on after towards the rest of the song or until we put another adjustment marker. You listen? Ah, it's correct. This is how you um, beat create a track. It's quite simple. It doesn't take a long time, a minute, two minutes sometimes. But in the next part, we will take a track that um, needs a lot more attention, a lot more work to uh, get it lined up into the beat grid. Thank you for watching this episode of a three part tutorial on how to beat grid like a pro in record box. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell as well if you want to be reminded every time I post a new video. If you have any requests or want me to test a product or a service of yours, please send an email to hello at loopsfx.com. See you next time.